Now let us look at the question number 8 here. This is question number 8 is from computer graphics subject and it says a graphic display system has a frame buffer that is 640 pixels wide and 460 pixels height. So they are giving that the width is 640 and height is 480 therefore the display resolution is 640 across 480 pixels. Okay and one bit of color depth if the access time for each pixel on average is 200 nanosecond that is 200 nanosecond is uh, access time for each pixel then the refresh rate of this frame buffer is approximately which one of the following now let us look at this question step by step here when i'm saying 640 is the width that means this is the vertical lines and height is 480 so these are representing the horizontal lines horizontal lines and these are representing the vertical lines vertical lines okay and the color depth that is given color depth that is given is one bit per pixel okay what does it mean it means that if this is the display now in this display here this is 640 Pixel 640. 640 means if you count the number of verticals line here, this is vertical line number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to so on, the total vertical lines will be 640. And when I'm saying the height is 480 pixel, that means the total horizontal like like 1, 2, 3, 4, up to so on, these total horizontal lines are 480. Okay. Therefore, the total pixel here total pixel is around 640 multiplied by 480 now the memory required here when i'm saying memory required for the total pixel for the total pixel is 640 multiplied by 480 multiplied by one bit because for every pixel we are storing one bit of information okay so it is remember it is bit it is not bytes okay and we know that one pixel takes 200 nanosecond to refresh 200 nanosecond to refresh therefore to refresh the whole screen to refresh the whole screen the whole screen it will take it will take a total of 640 cross 480 cross 200 nanoseconds where this is representing the total number of pixels and this is representing for every pixel this is much time is required now if you multiply this now this total amount i have already calculated this amount so this amount will be 6144 4 times 0 nanoseconds for one screen to get refreshed for one screen to get refreshed refreshed okay and we know for in one nanosecond it will be refreshing one upon six one four four zero 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 screen okay so if they are asking if they are asking that uh, how much what will the uh, uh, then the refresh rate for this frame buffer is approximately and this refresh rate here is given in per second okay now we know that in one second how much screen will be refreshed in one nanosecond how much screen will be refreshed now convert this nanosecond to seconds okay now for that amount you have to multiply because we know in one uh, in one seconds there are 10 raised to power 3 milliseconds and in one second there are uh, 10 raised to power uh, you know how many nanoseconds will be there in one so there are 10 raised to power 6 microsecond and in one second there are 10 raised to power 9 nanoseconds okay and we have to convert this nano to second to second that means we just have to multiply this value by 10 raised to power 9 now if you evaluate this value so this value comes out to be somewhere near near uh, 16.27 screens which is very close to 16 screens per second remember we are not getting a perfect answer we are getting an answer which is 16.27 uh, uh, frames in one second which is near to 16 uh, frames per second okay so for this question the correct answer is option number one as you can see it was a very easy question you just need to know a simple concept of how this graphic display systems is working and i hope that you understood this question pretty pretty well 
now let us look at the question number 9 here and uh, we'll in the next video we'll be seeing the question number 9